you should know the way that I suffer from my art is by not using fans and air conditioners while recording. So we will see how long I can survive this. Man, it has been a long time since I did a driving around in my car kind of a vlog. And um, this is what I do when I run out of ideas for videos. Um, and so I thought I have a lot of thoughts and feelings and I'm going to try to work my way through them. Um, if you are subscribed to my blog, you will have seen the, um, the post that went out a couple weeks ago um, when I just didn't even know what to write or what to feel or think or how to sleep. And so uh, I kind of dumped a lot on you. So if you are not able to cope with someone else's emotions right now, I totally get you, um, and there are plenty of other videos on my channel that you can go watch. But um, yeah, today uh, you are coming along with me. I am driving to pick up my daughter from the babysitter. This is the first day that we've sent her back to be with the babysitter while we're working, and we have a lot of feelings about it. <laughs> I honestly, so like, I'm at the point now where I cannot judge anybody for any kind of decision that they make regarding how close of a social distance they're keeping, you know, because I, I really felt, I think like a lot of people, just a lot of fear and anxiety going into uh, the pandemic because like it's affecting our futures in, a, in ways we can't predict. You know, I started off just really worrying about like, even before it became an issue in March, I was just concerned about like, you know, what it was going to do to my maternity leave and then it all suddenly hit the fan a lot faster than I expected and um, I was starting to feel a lot of fear and anxiety about it. Basically just not knowing what the right thing to do was, was causing me anxiety and so I wanted to do the most I could because then I knew that there was nothing else I can do. It's good, if that makes sense. So I had to like pull the pregnancy card to get sent to work from home, um, but like a week after I was at home, everyone else was at home anyway. But it like as soon as I started working from home, that weight lifted. I knew it would. Like I knew that I was being as careful as I could be, and so there was nothing else to do, you know. But that also meant that I didn't have to stay quite as on top of the data and the recommendations. I stopped watching the news quite as much. And slowly has that has tapered off as well to the point where it's just life now. You just cope. And I am sorry about this lighting. Um, and, but then, you know, things come May, things start to open up. And uh, people are, you know, looking to like open the economy. And I don't know what that is. No, I don't know what that means for households and like interacting with friends and things because no one is giving that guidance and that is frustrating me because on one hand you get people angry at everybody who's at the beach like why are you socially distancing it's like well because you're getting mixed messages from the government the government is saying you can go get your hair cut but you can't go visit your your you know mother 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 or father or you can't you know go have lunch with a friend like Understanding that, yeah, there is a difference, but no one's communicating what that difference is. At least not in, like, a broadly accessible way. So I know that, like, the safer we can be, the better. Um, like, I'm pregnant, so that puts me at a higher risk of catching something. and also puts a second person in the line of fire if there were complications from me catching it. Then there's you know, our, our parents and our grandparents who are at various kinds of risk and the people who the people we see see and I keep worrying about that. Anyway, it all kind of has started to come to a head. Basically the thing that is worrying me now is just not knowing what to do. You know, I'm not anxious about a specific concern and I'm also not hardline about it at this point. Like I'm not willing to to expend the energy at this point to be like, no, we're not letting anybody into our house. Because for one thing, we have been letting my in-laws come and help us take care of our baby. And if they weren't there, we would be completely out of our minds by now. 
anyway, fast forward to this point. Today is the day um, that we've decided we're um, we're gonna have her go back to the babysitter. We've been paying her anyway because we felt that was the right thing to do. Um, so we figured we may as well use her if we're paying her. Um, it's only 12 weeks now until I go on maternity leave, at which point we were gonna take her out and bring her home with me anyway. So we figure she needs the practice of like sharing and interacting with people her own age. Cause uh, yeah, we're, you know, not her peers and she's only been playing with older people. And I think it just is good for her to have some interaction. You know, the library's closed, the park's closed. She, there's nobody her own age to play with. So I think before the baby comes, it's good for her to get what amount of that she can. Um, so that's, I think, the main reason. That and also, just personally, I, I felt my patience with her start to thin out a little bit. Just, you know, trying to juggle. You know, she didn't do anything to deserve me being impatient with her. Um, but at the same time, I still have to focus on my work, you know? And so being stretched that thin has, uh, I think, taken a little bit of a toll on my sanity. So today was great in that, that we were able to get work done at home. It was very quiet. No one kept coming into the room saying, hi, mommy, daddy, look at this. Read me this story. You want to come play with me? And on the other hand, I missed her. I'm really looking forward to seeing her. I think she's grown up so much in the last two months that I'm really excited to hear how well she did today. Um, I, I hope that there were no tears. We potty trained her a couple, well, like a month ago. So I hope that there were no accidents, you know, because she's never used a toilet outside of our house before. So that's exciting. Anyway, let's go pick her up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the AC now. Oh no, what broke? The heart is broken? Did you, did you break it? Did it come off? You know, when I was little, people used to buy special protectors for those. Maybe we should have gotten some special protectors to save Hello Kitty's heart. That's okay. Yep. If her tag falls off, that means she grows up. That means she's a big girl now. Yeah. Just got back home. Uh, from dropping off Agnes the next morning uh, and my husband went to work today and our roommate is actually just leaving to go to work as well. So I, apart from the dog care, am the only one in the house for the first time in months and it is weird. But I've got to tidy up in here a little bit because uh, there's a little bit of a mess. Yesterday Gina was working from home and so this is the mess that he got to clean up while I was dropping Agnes off. But this morning he had to run off to the office uh, to go actually to work. And so I have to tidy up real quick before I start my own work. The very last of my travel mug coffee, the leftovers from my daughter's breakfast, my work bujo, and here we go. Here on my lunch break, I have the windows open. It's a lovely day outside. Fortunately, it has not gotten too hot yet. Um, I did some um, herb harvesting, harvesting from the garden. The garden is looking amazing. It has definitely grown since the last time you saw it. And I am hoping to have an updated in-depth tour up on my Instagram stories and I will archive it. So at this point it should already be up and you can go ahead and take a look at that. There's a link in the description. In any case, it is pasta night. 
um, because I've just been cooking a lot of pasta because it's something that I feel like it's easy to just get all the ingredients for and have them on hand. Um, and I've just been experimenting with different pantry pasta ideas and concepts. And so today um, I had a whole bunch of Romas in the fridge that needed to get used. Um, and so we are making Pomodoro sauce. And then I'm working on some pesto here. This is basil, also some spinach, and a little bit of oregano. Uh, normally I just go for the pure, just plain basil. I'm a purist when it comes to the pine nuts, but um, they are more expensive, so I've heard almonds work well. Um, I don't know, I've only used pine nuts. Love it. Uh, I still need to add the cheese to this. And so we're gonna have uh, some pasta pomodoro. Uh, we have some bread, like this, cheesy tomato pizza bread that we got from a local bakery place that's been delivering bagels to us. Um, so we're going to put pesto on that and make like a pesto garlic bread. And then we uh, have some broccoli that needs to get roasted. So that's for dinner tonight. Um, and I'm getting an early start so that I can have everything ready to go into the oven uh, as soon as I come back with the baby. This is the pile of dishes that are clean and need to be put away. And I am not paying attention to my backgrounds right now because I don't care. <laughs> Bonus shout out to the new little countertop um, trash can that we got to collect waste for compost. It is getting its use today. I already emptied it once. Um, all of those tomato cores and herb stems. And I'm sorry about the focus. Anyway, being alone in the house today has kind of made me feel a little bit more free to like, I don't know, explore my culinary talents or whatever in the kitchen. I have the, the sauce going on the stove while I'm working. Um, and I'm on my lunch break right now, which is why I'm making the pesto and getting the broccoli ready. Um, I, I'm feeling homemakery right now. So that's fun. Mm -hmm. well, I understand. Mommy, you understand? I do understand. Sorry? Sorry for what? What did I do? Sorry for the colors. Sorry for the colors? You're the one who put them all over the floor. Sorry for the colors. <laughs> I have a couple more minutes of lunch break here before I have to go back to my desk. I don't know, today I'm feeling... Um, kind of overwhelmed by everything again and um, it's because the baby is at home uh, again today so Thursday and Friday she's with my father-in-law and um, we gave him an option to either watch her here with us or bring her to their house which was the the typical MO before um, and I think we're going to have her go back to their house I mean they live like a couple blocks away um, soon but they're um, looking at getting a potty seat for their toilet and uh, just to make things easier I don't have to like hold her on the potty um, so I think that's what we're waiting on but uh, yeah having her in the house it's like it's it's a double-edged sword it on one end it's a delight she is adorable um, but on the other end like I can't spread things out on my desk because she's gonna come in and steal stuff like Earlier today, she came in and she just grabbed a, a sheet of um, twin, 16, six, know, twin 16 stickers that I had on my desk, um, you know, like for my planner, a little um, weather suns, and um, then giggled and ran off and grabbed them in her little fist, like, and some of them fell off and got smushed, and, and I was like, on one hand, you know, she doesn't know any better. On the other hand, it's super annoying that she's uh, in this phase where she finds it hilarious to disobey us. And so, like, in cases where it isn't a big deal, um, we have to pretend to be more stern than we really are to show her, like, look, we mean serious business when we say come here. That does not mean run away. Um, in this case, I was, like, actually kind of angry because I had already told her multiple times over the last week or so not to touch those stickers my fault for not putting them back away in the drawer. I thought I was going to keep them handy in case I wanted to use them. Anyway, um, they're f like they're fine. I salvaged them. But um, 
yeah, I, I made sure to give her a big hug and tell her, you know, like, it's no big deal, but when I tell you, you gotta listen. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's just stuff like that, that she's still in and out of our office all the time when she's being watched here, um, which, like I said, I love it and I hate it. And work is, like, you know, things came up. Tuesday was, like, light and easy, and then Wednesday hit me like a truck. So, a couple more minutes, I'm heading back into my desk to try to dig my way out of all of it. Uh, it's just, you know, mostly things I know how to do, but just a lot of them. Good evening. It's a little bit late. Um, oh, I'm sorry if the fan is loud. It's like 10, and I wanted to be in bed like half an hour ago, but you know how it is. Um, yeah, today, today went okay. Um, I think I last talked to you at lunch and I was feeling a little overwhelmed by things. Um, I shut the door to the office for a good chunk of the afternoon and that helped. Um, there was a lot of stuff that, like at work, that just, it's just, there's always going to be more stuff at work. But I took uh, a few minutes to like sit down and do a little planner stuff and that always helps me to kind of get my brain around what's going on um and just having that like it was just it was just organizing my planner a little bit um that really helped me to kind of feel a little bit more in control of my to-do list so that was fun um and then this evening was all spent on video calls first I called my parents because I hadn't talked to them since the weekend and then um my brother and his fiance called, so we chatted with them during dinner, and then right after bedtime, I had a um, planning meeting for my for there at the my brother's um, bridal shower, and uh, and so we had to you know work on that. So that's why it's a later night because I was busy doing stuff until late. But um, yeah, I've been trying to focus a little bit on my bedtime like sleep hygiene a little bit more recently. Um, we have Kaiser as our health insurance, and they sent an email. They're like offering a free year of uh, the premium subscription to the Calm app. So I've been using that because, you know, why not? Um, and listening to like sleep stories. And it kind of helps, I think, um, to sort of, I think it's the intentionality of it, of like, that means I'm not watching a YouTube video and doing something stimulating. Um, I also have out my planner and I'm going to take a look and see what, um, tasks I need to put on tomorrow and stuff like that because that always helps as well. Like if there's brain dumpy things going around in my brain, then that will interfere with me falling asleep as well. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, I will probably try to film at least one more clip tomorrow before I finish and start editing. <laughs> So I hope you've been enjoying this. I uh, was very disjointed, but it's like a follow me around for the week kind of video. If you like this kind of thing, then do let me know below. Um, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Happy Friday. This is, I think, the last clip I'm going to do for the vlog. Um, as you saw, our library is offering curbside pickup, so I put in a bit of an order. Um, and I think in a second when I get back home, I will uh, do my library haul for you. But uh, yeah, today's all gloomy and it is affecting me, I think. <laughs> also, it's just one of those, it's been a lot of those weeks lately where things kind of at work um, build up. <laughs> and like the more stressful cases and tasks come up, 
like later on in the week and so I just spent a good chunk of my morning dealing with something that turned out to not be an issue um, but it took two long phone calls with co-workers to um, to figure that out and then a couple of summary emails to sort of wrap it up and hopefully I don't know I might have to have one more phone call explaining that it really is fine anyway um, it, all things considered I'll just look on the bright side and say that yeah it's it's kind of nice to get the opportunity to talk to my co-workers who I haven't seen in person for two months now um, and who knows may not even see in person again until after maternity leave at this point um, and you know get the, the chance to talk a little bit of friendly smack about other departments and <laughs> like we used to do. But um, yeah, Agnes is uh, taking a nap right now. So I stepped out to pick up my books and I'm still at my lunch break. So I'm, I'm trying to not think about work and just take deep breaths and appreciate life. All right, before I head inside, let's see if we've got everything. So, I, uh, there are a couple of things that I wanted to get. I, I threw in a couple extras because I figure why not, um, you know, like get a bunch of stuff instead of just like one or two. And um, also since everything is sort of in limbo, um, due dates have been suspended until such time as life returns to normal or otherwise noted. And so uh, I figure it was a good chance to pick up something that it's probably going to take me a long time to read. Um, I was thinking, you know, this is a book recommendation. I don't even know if this is, I think it's nonfiction. I don't even know, but I was told I'm a big fan of the Hitchhiker's Guide. I don't know if you knew that about me, probably not hard to tell. Um, and so this is, I think just nonfiction about the writing of it. Um, it's by Neil Gaiman. And I am going to check that out. And I was thinking of maybe getting this like around the time the baby was born or at least on maternity leave um, because I did quite a lot of reading uh, when I was nursing Agnes like early on. I would sit there and, you know, nurse her for half an hour and read a chapter of something. Um, and so I was thinking that this would be that book. But since it's not going to be due for a long time, I might as well get started on it now. Um, this is the real reason I placed the order. It's a DVD of Daniel Tiger, Big Brother Daniel. So this is a collection of seven, seven horrific tales. Um, so these are the ones where like the mom is pregnant and the baby comes and then Daniel deals with being a big sibling. So um, I wanted to check these out, um, but they are not available for free on Amazon Prime. Like the first couple of seasons of Daniel Tiger are and Agnes has enjoyed them. We watched the potty training episode and we watched an episode about gardening and about trying new food because it might taste good. And having those little jingles to sing um, in different situations has actually been really helpful. They're not musically profound, but they are helpful and they're short. Um, so as far as music goes, I recommend Daniel Tiger. Everyone, this is not a newsflash for anybody. This is no one's hot take. Um, but anyway, these episodes are, I would have to pay like two bucks a piece to watch them on Amazon. So oh, I found them for free at the library. There's seven of them. And I am, is it really seven? Man, it's a lot. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we will check that out and Agnes, I'm sure will enjoy it. Let's see, got a book called I'm a Big Sister. So I thought, you know, Toss that in there, enjoy it, see what she thinks of that. Um, Fox and Socks. I've checked this out before, but I have a lot of fun. This is like my favorite Dr. Seuss, and we don't own it. We've checked it out from the library once before. Um, Agnes is just like really into books lately, reading, and so I thought she would have a lot of fun with this because it's really silly. A lot of, you know, rhyming words and stuff are probably going to be fun for her. And then finally, Crib Sheet by Emily Oster. Um, you probably have heard of her or this if you are pregnant or, you know, recently a new mom or whatever. Data-Driven Guide to Better and More Relaxed Parenting from Birth to Preschool. So this is the sequel, and I'm trying to remember, oh yeah, here we go. Her, um, her book about pregnancy is called Expecting Better. I don't feel a lot of anxiety about pregnancy, you know, 
she has actually her website has a lot of stuff about COVID. So that's useful, but that's not going to be in her book. So I, I skipped that one, but this one is more recent. This is about parenting um, from birth to preschool. So that will include our new baby as well as our current toddler. Um, and I am just looking forward to flipping through this and reading a little bit here and there. Um, it's all like evidence-based and um, not fear-mongery. I've heard it very highly recommended, so I was looking forward to picking it out. So there we go. I'm back from the library. I'm going to go inside and I have to go water the garden, take a glass of water, and then get back to work in about 20 minutes. So thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this random meandering look through a week in my life. And if you want more of these, do let me know because they require like no prep, probably quite a lot of editing. Um, but I enjoyed filming this for you and I will see you guys in the next video if you subscribe. So don't forget to do that and I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Bye.